good morning. I'm checking out and I'm gonna find some other place today later on. Something with windows. But look at this. Look at this beautiful view when you wake up. Gorgeous day. It's a beautiful thing about traveling around December, January, anything like that is it is cooler even though the sun is out and everything the humidity far less i've heard that a lot of uh, the expats here that you might see in town but they might live 45 minutes or an hour away would be more south of here to even closer to the mountains where you have even less humidity well i'm being called out right now chin long come on now I, it's supposed to be somewhere up here, and it's called Tom Tom's Coffee House. Okay, no, that's that hotel. So I did walk down here. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Nice. Those are nice bikes. Um, all right, there it is. Oh, they got a lot of Harleys here. So the Dumaguete sign is where you're going to find the Tom Toms. Looks busy enough. All right, I walked in there. It's uh, got about four or five people in there, not a single expat or anything like that. So maybe my information wasn't correct and it isn't the expat hangout. Uh, maybe it's too late in the day. It is all air conditioned inside, but there wasn't a single expat inside. So I thought I'll go back down. I passed so many other places that did have expats in them. Uh, I think it probably makes more sense to go there then, I think. I just want to get an idea of what it's like for expats that live here in this area. And so I want to be able to talk to some people. Sarah. Sasha, say hi. Hello. So I just met Sasha there. He recognized me from the vlog, so that's cool. And he's on his first day here also. But he was in Sikior, which is the island. He was saying it's about an hour and a half. Prices are fantastic there and beaches are beautiful. So. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I, I haven't booked anything for the stay tonight, but I do have plans up to like six o'clock. So, Vince, can I take a boat over there and then just get there? Because I have plans this weekend back in Iloilo. So we're gonna go here because there's a lot less people. Yeah, here's a good place. So there you go. Sounds Reval Bistro. Place is pretty. It looks like they have really good breakfast here. I got an Eggs Benedict, I haven't been had that. Well, I don't even remember. I don't even remember how long it's been. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna introduce you to somebody. Um, he's from Canada, and he walked right into me, so it was perfect, because I was, you know, wandering around. I had no idea what to do. He's gonna give me a little local knowledge, because he really does know it, and he knows Canada, so. All right, what's your name? Alex. Alex. Alex, you came from here, ended up in Canada, where I'm from. Yeah. Spent, well, Manila also, right? You yeah. went to Manila. Yeah and all the way back here again, yes. but you're going back to Canada. Of course, yeah. What do you mean, of course? Oh, I, mean, I lived there for 30 years. Right? 30 so years, wow. 30 more, actually, so that's basically... So there you go, you got a good perspective then, because you came from Dumaguete. Yeah. Now, Dumaguete 30 years ago wasn't was like this, here. right? Yeah. When you, when you were a kid, it wasn't like this? No, no. definitely not, yeah. Like, uh, but now it's just... Lots of people, well, yeah, it's know, boom, good boom, yeah, for sure, yeah. And when's the last time you came to Dumaguete? Um, I think two years ago, I two think. years two, ago, yeah, okay. And it's already changed a lot, right? It's already changed a lot because they had a, a bit of a reputation here of it being dirty, not easy to get around, all that kind of stuff. And then I showed up here and I went, everything is clean, yeah, and I'm having no problem getting around, yeah, yeah. So are you finding the well, same thing? Well, that's good. You get you get adjusted to you know this place, right? So yeah. uh, completely different from where we are in, in, in back in Canada. Yeah. But uh, you know, this is the island. This is the way things are. So you just kind of adjust the way things are. So. Yeah. And you were saying that you are opening up, uh, your, like you bought land just south of here. Yes. How far down? Uh, it's about uh, 45 minutes 45 from minutes here. 45 minutes from right? here. Yeah. And uh, you said it's beautiful beaches down there. It's beautiful, it's quieter, it's more, more pristine, lots of trees and stuff like that. So, uh, and it's all very accessible as well. So Excellent. And so right now escape. you're just waiting on permits to start building. Yeah, I'm still uh, getting some papers, uh, working with it. Yeah. So. And have you spent a lot of time down there? 
yes, I prefer it there. Sometimes I, I have a, I have a place here. I have a house here in Jumagati. Yeah. But uh, I just came for one day, one night, and then, and then back straight there. back down there. Yeah, okay. yeah. Because maybe I need to go visit down there oh, and see how, how beautiful oh, it is. Definitely, it's a, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. Look at that. That looks so good. You got, Thank you. You've got the same. Oh, it comes with orange juice. Look at that. What's that? And a view? Well, not the truck. Fish dealer, though. But still. This is nice. This is nice. Now this guy's from Vancouver, so this is like his life. He just like sits right on the Vancouver coast, but the price is 10 times more in Vancouver. <laughs> That's so different at, at least, yes. at least. Yeah. Vancouver is the absolute most expensive place in all of town. So yeah, I, I couldn't afford to live there. Are you kidding me? I had a, an executive level salary. I couldn't afford to move to, to Vancouver. Crazy money there. So I'm gonna introduce you. This oh. is Chinning. And this, your mother came up with this in 1977. 1977. And so if you come to Dumaguete, this is apparently something you need to try. Now I've got the butter one, and these are called Savannah? Yes, Savannah's original butter. Savannah's so original strawberry. butter. And this is the strawberry. We do have other flavors. Yes, there is ube, I, many. We have pandan, we have chocolate, uh, we have ube. All right, which fantastic. Which is the, in, in ube is the... Ube, everybody loves ube. Okay, you know ube. I love ube, oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> so I'm gonna try this famous, famous dish. I gotta do this way. Yeah, well, you use your fingers all over the world. You gave me a fork, but I can... It's, it's the Philippines. The of course you can use your hand. All right. All right, you ready? Oh my gosh! You want your cappuccino? Yeah. I don't know how to describe this. Hang on. So, that's like a... It's like an ice cream in the middle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then cookie, and then crumble on top of it, and that's not too. It's not overly sweet. I got the less sweet. This is the butter one. But this is like an ice cream sandwich, but not. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's good. I know. Are you having the same problem? Yeah. No, it's like an ice cream, but we're we'll waiting for it. But it's pretty good. It tastes yeah. so good. All right, Dumaguete, you guys have a fantastic adventure. So, 1976, invented here by her mother. Um, they have multiple locations apparently. Uh, Elsa with Robinson and uh, Henry's was a resort or something like that. They have, they have many of these places. This used to be their ancestral house and they turned it into a restaurant. That's really cool. So there you go, Savannah's. These are really good. I like them. I like them. It's really cool. And they came over and told me some of the, their story and everything. Their kids live in Toronto and they they were they're talking about the same things we talk about about them struggling where you got to pay a thousand dollars just to rent a room in a house see this is why everybody wants to move here right because cost of living is just getting really out of hand back in canada oh my gosh all right these are good very good so this is the great thing about adventuring is that i get opportunities when you just put yourself out there and start talking to people to do all kinds of cool things so we're going where are we going Valencia. Valencia. I've heard mountain. of it. Yes. And it's going to be cooler up cooler there. Cooler up there. All right, all right. I'm ready for some Thank Canadian you. weather. Yeah. Some Vancouver weather, maybe. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Could be. Although, we, we don't know. We could get up there and it could be super hot today. We never know. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to head up to the mountains. And i got to be back here for four. But apparently, it doesn't take that long to go up there. So let's go. Let's go on some adventure. So that is the biggest mall in all of Dumaguete. It is the Robinsons. There is no big SM here or anything because land. There isn't big plots of land for them to build these big mega malls just yet. There is talk about the airport being relocated and when it does, because the airport's very close to the in the city center, um, that that might be the next big development area so that you'll see that hyper modern type builds that you see in all the other cities right now so that's where the plane is so, so far this is the traffic it's not too not too bad at all this is a one-way street though and this is the one that i think that everybody was talking about that you gotta navigate the city because some of them are one way and some are not i still can't get over it, like how wide and comfortable the G the trikes here very much 
twice the size, I think, as uh, some of the trikes that you see in other cities. We've also been talking about what it's like driving here in the Philippines since he's, you know, now basically a Canadian um, and uh, with the differences, right? And so when we're back home in Canada, everything is structured, organized, everything. But what happens is you become lazy. You become so used to everyone following the law that you aren't really defensive driving anymore. You just assume nobody will be going the wrong way on a lane. You you assume that people are going to use their turn signal. You you get really angry with people if they don't use the turn signal. You start, you know, honking and going crazy or if they leave their turn signal on. We're here, you have to be used to all of these things all of the time. Not, there is no such thing as normal here. Anything can happen. And the crazy part about it is, I think because we get into that comfort zone in the West where we just expect everybody to follow the rules and follow the laws, that we actually have more accidents because we don't pay attention anymore. We're eating breakfast and texting and doing 900 other things while you're driving and then all of a sudden somebody t-bones you because you didn't realize that you just uh, went through a yellow light or something and the other guy was timing it. And so here you don't see as many accidents where I would see accidents daily in Toronto. I don't know about how it is in Vancouver. But you could see accidents, or you could see in the intersection there was an accident recently with glass broken all over and they hadn't fully cleaned it up yet. But here, everybody's defensive driving and there's a lot less accidents, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Everybody's paying attention. So. Always. And if you don't, you, you'd be crazy not to. You, you have no choice but to defensive drive all the time here. Okay, we haven't been driving very long and we're already in Valencia. And you can see how the mountains have gotten so much closer so quickly. Apparently, there's this place here where from World War II, they collected all the bombs that were left over or something. And uh, we're gonna see if we can just find that real quick. Okay, here it is. Look at this American Jeep. Yeah, it's a cool little museum here, and as you can see here, this is like a Filipino army here. Some jerry cans. Wow. Oh, it's a training rifle. It's wood. Yeah, look at that. There's a lot of shells here. Oh, wow. Yeah, here we go. Look at this. This is so cool. I got bayonets there, all corroded. Okay, they're not real skulls though. <laughs> There's so much to see in here. This place is so packed. They've got everything from the World War II era here. Even the surveying equipment. I'm now in New York East and uh, I'm in Moscow. Amazing. It's already nine So you just ammo, uniforms, bomber jackets. I am Oh, even some Japanese uh, outfits here too. Oh, lots of it actually. Lots of Imperial Army stuff. This place is really cool. And listen, I don't think I want to be hacked with this. Look at this. Can you imagine? Like, look at the size of that. Yeah, I think that's what I was saying. I'd rather be shot with one of those. I don't want to be hacked to death with this. That would be terrifying. Wow. So this is just in Valencia, right on the main road. You can't miss it going up to the mountain. Uh, this area though uh, is full of expats. So this is where they all choose to live. Closer to the mountain you get, the cooler the temperatures. And meanwhile, you're literally just down the road. You're back in Dumaguete. So you, you can still go into town and enjoy your life and then drive up here and live in the cooler temperatures. So it sounds pretty darn good to me, that's for sure. Going up the mountain right now, it is really close. I can't believe how close everything, it seemed really far, but it wasn't. It's not far at all. All right, we are at the end of the road. We're all the way at the top and it's called Lamotacana. Lamotacana? 
Nobody's telling me if it's all right, but that's okay. And this is a waterfall right at the top of the mountain. And guess what? It is definitely cooler. Not hugely cooler. It's probably like, I think around in the shade anyway, I'm feeling like it's 20, three degrees 23 degrees celsius middle of the afternoon two o'clock in the afternoon in the sun it probably will feel hot let's see let's see but i can feel it the humidity is pretty much gone yeah it just feels like arizona type weather when you get in the sun and then out here so this is quite nice i don't know how far the falls are so we're not dressed to be uh going through a hike for hours on end plus we have a four o'clock appointment so can't really do that or i do they have this huge building here. It's like four stories. I don't know if you can see the falls if you go to the top, can you? Uh, let's see, maybe. Oh. Hi. Oh. Hello, good morning, afternoon, afternoon. <laughs> so the ladies there, they were like, whoa, you can't go to the falls looking like that. You have to cross a river. And, and uh, we were just joking because she's like, listen, if you just have boxers, you can wear boxers. So I, I have permission to go in my underwear, uh, but I'm not going to the waterfall today because it's a bit of a hike and I'm not really ready for that. But I would love to go with this just when I have more time. Oh, but listen to that. Can you hear it? I don't know if I hear rapids or waterfall, but it sounds like a waterfall. Oh, look at that. Look how beautiful this all is. I'm so sad that my drone is still broken. But thank you, Francis, by the way. Francis has uh, been helping me get it fixed. And he already messaged me saying, I think it's fixed. You just need to test it when you get back to Iloilo. So thank you. But I really wish I had it for this trip because I'd be able to send it out over here. All right, one more floor to go. Oh, wow, there you go. Dumaguete is down there. You guys aren't gonna be able to see that with this camera, am I? Maybe. Yeah, I think pretty sure that's Dumaguete down there, right? That's right. Yeah. Dumaguete. Really is beautiful. I thought this might be like a future zip line or something because they could just. Yeah, you would think this would be a great place to do it. And, they could... and then they maybe you could deliver you closer to the, the falls. Yeah. Be like the shortcut. Oh, it's definitely cooler here, though. Holy smokes, I can feel it. What about you? Can you feel it? Probably when the sun is down too, it'll be really cooler. Oh yeah, definitely. Because you can feel the difference in the shade here, yeah. where you, in where it's a lot of humidity, you never feel the difference. So we're now actually in the town of Valencia. So we're in the area of Valencia, but this is the actual physical town. We have a little square here. And it's cool because it is up on the mountain. It's looking down. You can actually see Dumaguete down at the distance, maybe not through this camera, but uh, we're just getting a good idea of what it looks like up here. Once again, yes, I, I've seen a lot, a lot of expats. Um, there's a young guy, well, it's probably his son. Um, there's quite a few expats here that I've seen on bikes and in uh, cars and everywhere I look. It is definitely an expat town. So for tonight, I think I'm gonna try this place. It's called Hotel Essentia, and uh, it looks quite nice. They have uh, like all the modern amenities that you can ever imagine, and so we'll see how much it is. Like, they have different rates on here, but I don't know which ones are available, and I'm trying to find one that actually has uh, a balcony. That would be nice to have a balcony, but we'll see. It looks like the most expensive one in here is 5,399 a night. But well, I'm pretty sure I saw that one on Hotels.com for like 4400 a night. Okay, very strange. So Hotels.com, or yeah, Hotels.com, has a rate 1,500 pesos cheaper per night than what they'll sell it to you for. So they'd rather pay a commission to Hotels.com than give you the same price. They won't price match it. I asked for the manager, but unfortunately, no luck. Manager's not here, not available. So I'm gonna try somewhere nearby. It's just crazy to me that they wouldn't, anyway. I'm sure 
sure it's not their fault. They, they don't have the power to do anything. I'm gonna try, I saw another one nearby that had some pretty nice places and uh, we'll see how that goes. Yes, I know, I could have just booked it on hotels.com. Uh, it's prepay to hotels.com to get the room and all that. I get, not a big deal, it's just pain in the butt. And it's a principal thing. I'm like, are you joking? Why would you want less money? You could have just matched the price and not paid a commission to them. Anyway, don't mind me. There's so many places here, so I'm just gonna pick a place. This way I can go in and maybe see the room ahead of time too. So I know what I'm looking at. That's why ever since my problem in Subic Bay, I don't wanna book on hotels.com. I just go to the hotel and see if they'll match the price. Oh, very busy intersection. The water's just on the other side. We're only one road away. There's a lot of motorbike rental places here too, by the way. All right, so I'm at Worldview. Uh, before I booked the room though, I asked if I could see it. They said, yeah, no problem. And it is really close to the beach. And she said it was 1,000 pesos. And I was like, okay, well, I need to see this first then because uh, I don't want another hospital room. But anyway, this place looks really nice. You see pretty swanky uh, reception, just no elevator here. So I don't mind, it's third floor. It looks like it was just new newly renovated. They got these little sofas in here, balconies, stuff like that. And here you go. So I got air conditioning, got a bed, everything. Balcony's right there, right? You can't access it from the room, but you can go right over here and get the view. People watching, the water's right over there. So it's not much of a view, but whatever. Yeah, it's pretty decent. I just want to look at the CR real quick. Oh, can you open that? Oh, it just sticks. Okay. Humidity. All right. Everything looks clean to me. Clean, no problems. Decent enough, got the TV up there. How's the internet here? Is the internet okay? Is there internet? Yes, Wi-Fi? Yes, sir. Okay, good, good. Good enough, a thousand pesos, good enough. All right, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it, and I can always sit out on the balcony here and people watch when I want later on tonight. Good enough, a thousand pesos. It's a fantastic price. Once again, under 20 US dollars. Okay, so I did walk by this last night. It is huge. It's, I, I, that's what I was looking for, something much smaller. I didn't expect it to be absolutely enormous. This is ground zero. And this is Shay. <laughs> Shay travels from YouTube. Yes. We met her when she came to Ilo Ilo City. We did some vlogging together and stuff like that. Um, six months ago. And finally, yeah, six months now. And finally, I get to see. Oh, wow, this place is so enormous. It is like a souped up Starbucks. And I think that's why. I don't know why I keep thinking that people would like the outdoor tiki hut type place, hang out at the bar, you know, watch people walking by. And it always turns out to be something different, I guess because here we are and it's not that way at all. It's, it's modern and air conditioned and quiet and Starbucksy. Hello, hello. Oh, Michael. Wow, 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 we have the professor. <laughs> nice to you? meet you. Good, how are you? Good, how, doing great. And of course, Shay, we already mentioned Shay. So this is ground zero, finally. And there's a whole other floor upstairs. Yes. It looks like the lights are off up there. Nobody stops you. What do they say? Ask for forgiveness, not for permission? Oh, wow. It's full of gamers. The roof is really low. Yeah, it is a gamer's haven in here. Lots of young people. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, that's like an incredible gaming area room full of young people in there playing video games. Okay, so you know, the thing about Shay here is you're a local. Yes. Right. 
But you have a perspective of being a vlogger. You've done a little traveling as well. Yeah. It's not just to Iloilo, but other places. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, you have a, a good range of perspective. You've met other vloggers here too, right? Yes. There is, I hear, one or two. One or two? <laughs> a hundred, at least. <laughs> at least 100 vloggers here. See, that's the difference. Uh, you go to uh, where I am, you know, in Iloilo, and there's maybe three. Oh. Right? Three. And you won't, you probably don't know them. Right? There's some that you know, um, like our friend Stephen there, you know, they, they've been introduced on our channel and stuff like that, but for the most part, they're, they're, they're not like as serious as, it, as I am, I guess, uh, doing it as a regular basis, like daily vlogging, that kind of thing. There's really not that. But here in Dumaguete, it's pretty common. Yes, pretty common. and sometimes... So that uh, interview was about, oh, eight, eight to ten minutes long, something like that. And so therefore, I'm going to put it as a separate video. So if you want to check out what her um, thoughts are of the city and, uh, you know, she grew up here, spent her whole life here, uh, but been to Japan and all over the place. So she's got a good perspective and everything. And so you can check it out over there. I am uh, now heading out. It's already dark already. And uh, just seeing well, what I get up to. I'm not even sure at this point, but uh, the place Places are kind of filling up, all the patios and everything seem to be filled with lots of couples and people enjoying themselves. The time I had in Valencia though, I really enjoyed that, to be able to go out and see what it's like up there. And so cool, unbelievable. So I, I definitely want to come back and go to that waterfall. I got to get flip-flops that'll fit me. I have to go through a river um, and shorts. I got to wear shorts next time. But uh, I think I, I'd enjoy it. And I definitely want to go to Sikihor, the island over here that's only an hour away so i have to come back and check it out and hopefully there's not too many groans in the comments about no don't go to dumaguete again that sort of thing but no i want to go back to mwabal and see what, how much different it is since the last time i was there um i did yes i did reach out to filipino p see if she could uh was interested in vlogging Some people have been asking i'm like yes um but unfortunately i didn't hear back and um paul ma uh, Baby May, I think is the name she goes by. Um, they uh, have no more contact information or a way to contact them on their YouTube profile. Otherwise, I definitely would have wanted to check him out. He's the biggest vlogger in all of uh, Dubaguete, far as I, I know. Um, so, yeah, I didn't hear back from them. But you never know. I might run into somebody today or tomorrow before I leave. We'll see. We'll see. Take a look at that. That is so cool. Uh oh, there's a lot of wind right now. Hopefully it's okay. Um, yeah, instead of making like just regular park benches or anything, they turned it into like a ship. And I got uh, kept cannons in here and everything. It's really nice. Here I see something going on, but I don't know. They all look like they're dressed in like in Spain, like Madrid, you know, that kind of uh, dresses. I don't know if it's some kind of dance class or something, but they look pretty fancy. And of course, like everywhere in the Philippines, you can get your exercise on in the plaza. Hello. Anytime around five to six o'clock, any plaza, you can go and get your exercise on. It's very, very common. That's not even the Capitol tree that is at the Capitol building. That one is just incredible. It's not really close here, so I'm not going to go, but um, I did see it from the bus when it first came in at night. It was amazing. I have some good news. Uh, they have size 12 here, no problem. Actual 12 too, so 46, not 45. And uh, they fit really good. So they had like three, four, five different kinds. And yeah, I'm not limited here. So if you got big feet, 
you might like do Maggetti for like the department store. They're like 350 pesos, so not terrible. Uh, considering, yeah, it's not the cheapest, obviously, but not terrible. And they're good quality because these have good grip. And then this side is because for water. So when you're get your feet wet or whatever, there's a place for the water to go. And it was only 40 pesos, so that's not bad at all. I uh, went about a kilometer or so, because I had wandered a long way. You could tell how sweaty it was. And uh, I didn't uh, really know where I wanted to go, so it just dropped me off in front of the Bethel, and I'll walk over again, the hospital. I asked somebody, they're like, no, that was never a former hospital. And I'm like, I'm telling you, it looks like a hospital inside. Those were nurses' stations. Not that there was anything wrong with the room. It's just small, but whatever, I got it for so cheap. But uh, yeah, I still swear it was hospital. Somebody, somebody in the comments, tell me it was a hospital. So I don't think I'm the craziest person on earth. Anybody? The night keeps coming. So a subscriber contacted me asking if I'd like to come out for a beer, the live band, all that kind of stuff, I'm right on the waterfront. So I said, okay, let's go. So it's called a uh, Haya Hai. I'm just gonna go down to the road that long runs along the waterfront and grab a trike from there because it is a bit down. There seems to be like a whole section over there more towards the airport where there's a lot more uh, hotels, resorts, and uh, like condos and that kind of thing. So uh, that's where I'm going. Off we go. This one's like a little car. Got doors on it and everything. <laughs> a little bit different than the most. Love the high height. There we are, Haya Hai. There's actually quite a bit down in this section here, and I believe they're staying at those condos right over there. They had actually suggested that I check that place out, and I did, I did, but it, I just saw how far it would be taking those trikes back and forth. Uh, trike was, I asked him how much, and he's like, you name your price. I hate that, I absolutely hate that. Anyway, I just gave him 50, because I know the other one was 40, so I'm like, whatever, it's gonna be like 40, 50. Anyway, so this place is pretty cool. I saw it. it's like two different stories. The live band starts, I believe, at 9 p.m. And they said they'll be here somewhere. I'm not sure where, but I kind of stand out, especially with this light. So I'm sure somebody would put their hands up. And they put their hands up. There he is. Yeah, I said, just as I said, I'm sure they'll put their hands up. Boom, you put your hand up. Nice to meet you. Hello, I'm Michael. Nice to meet you. So, this is where the live band starts? All right. We got about 30 minutes. They're just setting up right now. Hello, brother. I'm gonna go check out upstairs. I'll be right back. I guess they're famous for their pizza. Look at that, margarita pizza, 200 pesos. Beef lovers, 230. Nice. Hey, how are you, brother? Oh, yeah. Oh, they got like a vape shop going on up there. Let's go upstairs. Let's go take a look. Oh, there's a lot of people up here. Yeah, so they got like a, a vape and drink shop down that way. And a lot of room up here. A lot of space. You can look out down at the road. Now, during the day, obviously, you're going to see the beach. There's actually beaches on the other side of that brick wall. Can't see much right now at night. But there is a beach there. Don't know how good the beach is, what it looks like, that kind of thing. But yeah, it's really pretty here though. Hello, or wait a minute, I said say aloha? No, I don't know. I thought it was aloha. I was like, aloha. I don't have residences. I don't have residences. Well, hello everybody. Is, is this a party? Yeah. Yeah? A New Year's party. Oh, fantastic. Because you're too busy on New Year's. Yes. Right, so now you got to do it after the fact. All right, awesome. Well, this is uh, a great place. I'm just first time ever here, so just checking it out. Nice so to meet you. If you are looking for a high quality apartments, call Adona Residences, the best place in town. Where are you located? In Baco. How far is that? I don't know anything. It's about eight kilometers from here. Okay, is it that way, south? Yes, that way. South. Oh, I heard a lot of foreigners like to go south. Yes. 
Oh, very nice. And uh, it, what, what else? Oh, actually, I know there's actually a dive, a big diving area out that way, too. Yes, yes. Plenty. Yes. Plenty. Sorry? Plenty. Plenty. Oh, plenty. Okay, there's plenty of them. Okay, fantastic. Okay, actually, I decided to keep going on this. So, how much does it cost to rent at a donut residence? If you are looking for high quality, which we are only providing, so we are on the, like high, on the higher end of the market. All right. Uh, anything between 22 and 30,000 pesos a month. Okay, well, that's actually... And we offer for that, you know, a, a fully furnished, big, uh, thick, European, American size uh, mattresses. Wow. High, high quality shower, good pressure. Uh, Good yeah. With a very grainy and sustainable location. And how are the beaches? Beaches is five minutes one away. I heard it's really nice though. It's very nice and Baco is very close to the uh, a lot of marine sanctuaries. Right. So there's a lot of diving out there. A lot of diving. And, and, and so island, major spot for diving. And what are utilities uh, approximately? What do they go for? Uh, that's about another five or so. Yeah, about 5,000 more people. Yeah, yeah that's about yeah, reasonable. I mean, the, big, the big park is, of course, the electricity. Yeah, how often do you run that air conditioning? And how, long, how cold do you want to have? That's right, that's right. Yeah, that does change it. And at least you're within, it's within your own control, that cost. Yeah, um, And so, so you will from studio to what size? No, we don't do studios. Oh. We have one bedroom, we have two bedrooms, and we have a big one below, which we have in Okay, so, the, got, uh, so that's one and two bedroom, what you're saying. Right? Yes. 14, 14, 14 units yeah. right now. Uh, we are building another six soon, so by the end of the year, another residence is about 20 units and okay. a bungalow. All right, well, there you go. So that's actually really reasonable, as you guys know from the your our vlog you see all the time. That That's like a 30K will get you a studio apartment. Uh, in Iloilo City or Bacolod, so that, that's actually really, really good price. And you know, to be in like a beautiful area. It's how far of a drive again is it to get here? It's from here, it's eight kilometers. Eight kilometers, so you're really close to the city. All right, fantastic, thank you. All right, so yeah, it's like a whole vape area that they have down at the end here. And I guess smoking too, I see ashtray over there. But yeah, this place is pretty cool, so I'm gonna go back down. The band will be starting to play real soon. turned out I will be going to a, another city nearby called Bias City tomorrow um, thanks to a subscriber Alex and uh, so yeah I just wanted to give you an idea though I had some like Jamaican patties in there they were 88 pesos they were enormous they were like a meal there was three of them wow and they were forget the sauce unless you're into really crazy spice you don't need the spice uh, I got the hiccups so anyway uh, yeah this place is really nice this is called uh, I think you said North Point and there's a lot going all the way down here like look at this place look how big this is big restaurant here called the lantern uh so that's the condos that were saying i was saying there's wonders over there but further down here you got um st george or george's resort something like that and tons and tons of restaurants and everything it's like the new modern area that they're doing a lot of construction so there's a lot in the north point area maybe when i come back i can check out the north point area but for now, I think it's time for me to go back, find myself a trike, number one, and go back and get this video edited. So thank you all so much. Seriously, please, please make sure you are subscribed. Help me build it back up. You know, let's get it up to, I don't know, what's the next goal? Let's get to 25,000 subscribers. Let's do that. And uh, thank you for joining, and we'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.